Radio DJ Software Basics. This is an introduction to Radio DJ, the free radio automation software. If you have never used Radio DJ or you have, but you feel like you might need some more info on how to use Radio DJ more effectively, then you've come to the right place. If you have not yet installed Radio DJ, be sure to watch my video on an easy installation. The link is in the description. The first thing to understand is that Radio DJ, while it is amazing as a live studio, is actually a fully automated software package that can do everything for you. If you want to know how to create automated playlists that replicate themselves for you, then check the description for that video as well. This video, however, is about the basics, so you don't stumble around clicking the wrong things and making a mess. When you first see the Radio DJ interface, it can be quite intimidating, but take a deep breath. All will be revealed shortly to get you comfortable with the program and have you sounding like a professional in no time. The main things we will look at are the layout of the interface, the most important buttons to push, and how to use both the amazing manual and automatic features of Radio DJ. So if you are worried about looking like an amateur, take comfort in that you can look like a pro after this video. Let's start with the fun stuff first. Radio DJ is a music player and a music mixer. This section here is where your songs go, whether you are live or automated. You can either drag and drop songs here that will form a mini playlist or you can have pre-made playlists that will load automatically into the same area. To do either, you need to have songs already loaded in the track manager. This can be a bit complicated and takes a bit of effort to make sure everything is in the right place. For a more in-depth look at how to use the track manager, be sure to watch my video on playlist creation. But for now, know that you can load individual songs or entire folders into specific categories by clicking this button. If you see this appear on your screen, it means that you have not yet logged in as admin. So do that by using the username and password as admin. Then this will allow you access to all the buttons and settings. Now click on the track manager button and using these buttons, load songs or entire folders of music into the track manager. Once you have loaded music, adverts, jingles, etc. into their appropriate category, they will appear here in the search tab, which you can see by clicking here. Then you can either search for a specific song by typing it here or simply search categories for a song that you want. Left click and drag it onto one of these spaces on the mini playlist. You can move them around, delete them from the list or view some information about the song or advert etc by clicking here. You can edit the track intro and outro settings by clicking on a song in the search area so you can sound like a real professional when you talk across the intro of a song up to the vocal start. Talking up to the vocals takes a bit of practice and would need a complete video on its own, but know that you can affect the track timing settings like the length of the intro here. Now when you play a song, this information will show here as the song starts. When the counter hits zero, the vocals start. While we are here, let me show you around this panel. You have your audio levels here, your song intro length, outro length and song remaining time. This bar shows how far the song is along the timeline. You can left click and drag this to another point in the song, but of course you wouldn't do this live on air because you would seriously irritate your listeners. But when you are practicing or even making a demo recording, it helps to be able to restart the song or check how the song ends and mixes with the next song or advert etc. As I mentioned before, this program being so amazing as it is, can by the click of a button or two, change between a single track player to fully automated or even semi-automated. The control is all in your hands with these two buttons. The first button switches between manual and auto DJ. Now it's important to understand the difference between auto DJ and automated. Auto DJ is actually a small separate program that builds its own playlist based on your default track rotation, which you can learn more about in my Create Playlist video. But for now, know that there is an hourly format which you can create by clicking on this spanner icon for settings and click track rotation. Under your default track rotation that you create for your generic sound of your radio station, 
Audio DJ will create playlists for you automatically and load them into the mini playlist here. When your song list runs out, Auto DJ will load songs here for you automatically. Now this button here actually is for switching between assisted, as in you've decided when the next song starts, or fully automated where the radio DJ automation automatically plays the next item on the list and mixes them together. It will do this continuously until you run out of songs in your mini playlist or forever, as long as Auto DJ is able to keep loading new tracks. These other four buttons just have to do with loading songs to your mini player or removing them. So you can insert them with this lit up and double clicking the track which makes it appear at the last position or replace it etc. You can experiment with these but they don't have any bearing on the automation of the playlist. You can use these buttons to navigate up and down your mini playlist or simply scroll up and down. You can also use shuffle like normal media shuffle players. You can also load a pre-made playlist and even save this mini playlist for future use. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please support my channel with a super thanks. Look out for products on sale in future and my upcoming channel membership. Now to pre-listen to a song before playing it on air, click this headphone icon. But you must have a separate sound card for this or instead of playing it off air, you will play it on air because you only have one sound card. More on that in my video called Free Radio Automation Software. This section shows your track play history or more information about the track playing. You can also get some track info by clicking on this I button. Now if you want to sound cool when you're doing a live show, click this button here for the instant players. This is where you can instantly play your DJ drops, jingle program intros and so on. This works by left clicking to play and left clicking to stop or leave it to play to the end of the clip. If you left click on a blank button, this window will pop up where you can choose the audio file you want to have inserted into this button. Then right click to set a color for the button. Always save your palettes when you are done. Now the AUX players are similar in that they are instant players, but these are intended for temporary files like phone call recordings or news clips. They are for clips that you will only use once. It helps to keep the tracks separate from your main player so they don't play by accident in automation. Just drag the track in here from the search panel. For example, here are recordings of callers. Shout out to my family in Nebraska. Keep on keeping on. Just a shout out to my best girl, Stacy. Love you, babes. To set up your separate sound cards, click on this option button, then options again on this pop-up panel. Select sound devices and then simply select each audio device or virtual cable for each sound output. If you are streaming straight from your radio DJ software to a streaming app, then you can either have your main speaker output to the input of the streamer or you can use a virtual mixer like Voice Meter Banana. You can use your speaker output as the second channel input, microphone as your first and send your virtual cable input as the mixer output and select your streamer audio as the virtual cable output. To get your free virtual cable, see the link in the description. Now to set up your radio station sound, go to your radio DJ player and click audio processing. Here you can set the graphic equalizer and the compressor. To learn more about Radio DJ software and other broadcast apps, software and radio station setups, click on one of these videos. <laughs> 